Hi, welcome on another training movie for Canto Roboflow. Uh, in this movie, movie we will focus on um, installation uh, tips for Roboflow. Um, there are two very important things to consider when uh, installing Roboflow. Roboflow r runs as a service on Windows and a daemon on uh, Linux uh, or Mac OS. Um, it is very important to remember that Roboflow um, is executed um, from this service and runs as a certain user. That user out of the box is a local system user, your local system account, and usually that user does not have enough permissions. So most of the time it's better to have a domain user or an administrator or whatever account that has full permissions, permissions on to access your network. If Roboflow has to access network drives or network volumes uh, or network shares, and also do not forget that Roboflow writes inside its own folder. There's a logs folder and uh, other folders in which it stores uh, the settings uh, the, in this folder. So it requires read write. Uh, permissions in those folders so you have to run the Roboflow service with that particular um, user that has the permissions to do that. A second very important thing is that Roboflow takes up a, a lot of resources um, cataloging files, converting files and um, for that it is necessary daily to be able to free uh, those resources. That is why when you install Roboflow, you should always install it with um, a scheduled task. So uh, let me quickly show you how this is done. You can go to the Windows Task Scheduler and in the Windows Task Scheduler you can create a new task. And when you create a new task, uh, you uh, can uh, give it a name. I can say daily restart of Roboflow. And second thing, um, then here it is important that it is always executed, even if the user is not uh, logged in, and that it is run with the highest priorities because uh, it needs to be able to stop and start a service and for that it re requires this extra setting. In terms of triggers you can say one when it should run so I'm going to say daily for instance at uh, one o'clock in the morning and okay and then the next thing is is what should it execute. Um, it's going to execute a program a program that comes out of the box with uh, the Roboflow installation well at least it does with Cumulus 9 if you have Cumulus 8 I will show you what to call um, but here in this folder there is a script called Roboflow restart service you select this and um, this script will restart and now because I said it has to run with the highest privilege privileges it is asking me for a uh, for my login and password to be sure that it can run uh, this every day and uh, so you can say you can see here that I have this uh, daily restart that will uh, be executed every day if you uh, do not have um, if you do not have this task uh, then um, sorry if you do not have this script then you can go here into uh, Canto Roboflow and I'll show you what uh, this uh, batch file has so all you have to do in this batch file is actually if I uh, edit it in notepad you will see is it goes to the directory that is it called that it is called from so the Roboflow directory and then this instruction 
is actually what you will find in the RoboFlow stop script. This is exactly the RoboFlow stop script. The only thing that is added here is a timeout that waits 150 seconds, two minutes and a half, and then calls a net start Canto RoboFlow, which starts the uh, start starts the RoboFlow service. I usually even add something more just to be sure. Um, it's not a good idea to do an immediate net stop of the service uh, because RoboFlow has uh, things running in memory and this would just call these cancel these processes uh, like uh, database connections, writing in the database, etc. That is why we do it uh, with this first instruction that uh, actually sends a telnet command to RoboFlow telling it to stop then gradually uh, it will um, inform, notify all the threads to stop, all the workflows will stop and after a, couple, uh, after a minute, after a few seconds, depending on what is running, RoboFlow will have stopped. If for some reason it is blocked, then the net stop Canto RoboFlow will can additionally force it to stop. So it could be a good idea to add that as well. And this is how uh, your daily restart script for RoboFlow uh, looks like. And make sure that you check the name of the service. This is how it's installed out of the box. But if you had something else, uh, change it in something else, then you should change it here in the script as well. So this was a very short, quick um, tips and tricks uh, for installing RoboFlow and having it run um, smoothly. Uh, day in, day out. Thank you for joining and see you in another movie.